guys welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be continuing on with our swift ui tutorial series and in this particular tutorial we are going to be taking a look at how we can allow our text fields to grow on the vertical or horizontal axes you know as we type so maybe you need some kind of text field for say a bio but you don't want the accessibility shortcomings and the visual shortcomings of the text editor maybe you just need a text field that can expand to accept three lines or four lines or something like that of text and still have that placeholder sort of text for accessibility reasons for you know, for the, you know, the visual design of your app, so, you know, something like that. This specific initializer we're going to cover today will help you do that. Uh, and, and if you combine it with the line limit modifier, you can also limit the number of lines that your text field can grow to accept. All right, so let's get started you can see I have a basic text field already in Xcode ready to go this is just a simple text field with a with, with a with some prompt placeholder text that says enter a bio and all that stuff well maybe we want this text field to accept a maximum of three lines well we can we can do that by using the line limit modifier like this so dot line limit and passing it three and now our text field will only accept three lines of text but as it stands at the moment our text field doesn't grow so we can't so we can't visually have it go to new lines every time it reaches the end of the text field it just goes off the you know it goes off the bounds of the view and stuff like that so we have to scroll through the text to see all the text there well there is a special initial initializer for the text field that includes an axis this axis is what you use to specify whether or not your text field grows on the uh, on the x or y axes to you know accept more text as you type so let's go back up to our initializer here and we go to the end of our initializer here we do a comma axis and this will take in an axis so if we do a dot here, we can see in our code complete what the options are. We have horizontal, vertical, and that's it. Let's say we want this to grow vertically. Well, now if we t now if we run our code Let it kind of do its thing. All right. As it stands right now, our text field spans the whole width of our screen. So if we just type and type and type and type, it starts to grow, or at least it should start to grow. This stuff should also work on macOS, but you get the idea. So as you, t as you type more and more text in your text field, um, and it reaches the end of this, you know, at the, it reaches the end of your views bounds, it will, or it should go and uh, grow the text field's height to accommodate. Right. So that pretty much does it for this video, guys, on how you can make your text fields 
uh, vertically or horizontally grow based on the you know based on the text that the, that's entered into it. Um, just to review, if you want it to grow vertically, use dot vertical as its axis. If you want it to grow horizontally, use dot horizontal as its axis, and it will uh, accommodate for you. All right. Thank you all so very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.